Hello everyone, and welcome to this left behind, glitchless, easy speedrun tutorial. Um, strangely enough, th this category that I'm doing the tutorial for is the most submitted and popular category in all of Last of Us speedrunning. It has the most submissions. So, yeah, want to do this tutorial justice and show off anything and everything that will benefit you going fast. So right off the bat, um, I am doing this run on PlayStation 4 latest patch. I'm on a PS4 Pro, but even a base PS4 is faster than PS5. Uh, you just gotta trust me on that one. Okay? I will explain why later, but PlayStation 4 latest patch is the fastest. If you have a PS5, latest patch is fine as well. Like, I, I'm trying to think, because I have a PS... Like I just mentioned, I have a PS4 Pro with a solid-state drive in it. If I were to compare compare a base PS4 with the normal hard disk drive to a PlayStation 5, they might be about the same. But whatever. Latest patch is what you want, and I will show you why a little bit later. Uh, okay, here we go. New game. No, easy. Uh, you know what, I want to put this under a file, because I'm going to be going back and forth, saving and whatnot. And for this tutorial, I will have the webcam turned off, so you can focus on my hands and the input display and whatnot. I'm going to go over everything. Now it gets off to a slow start. There's a lot of, like, movement tech you can do here. I totally got this. Not a lot, but there's some. Alright, now where the fuck do I go? Like, something that can gain or lose you a lot of time is, like, going through this semi-open door and picking up the note. When I go through here, I'm gonna be crouched. You don't have to pick up a brick. I know it's tempting. There's a brick there, a brick there, there's a brick up there. You don't need to pick any up. But when I go through here, we're gonna do the thing where I crouch underneath and then hold sprint when I'm underneath, and you should get a little launch forward. But after that, you wanna approach this note, like, at a pretty steep angle. If you just approach... Here, let's pretend that... this brick right here is the note. If you just hit triangle here, Ellie has to turn her body. So what you want to do is hit triangle right, like, there. You want her to be facing the note this way. And it can make an entire second difference if she picks it up slowly. So it all looks like this. Compared to... I want to see where this checkpoints me, but... Where am I? There I am. Okay. If you just spin around and, like, do it that way. She's a little bit slower. So. I know, this is only the intro. Get used to being this slow. Okay. As soon as you get a launch and you want to turn the camera, let's pre-turn the camera and then hit triangle like that. The pharmacist. Maybe he's and don't hit triangle too early. Mash X to put it away. Now, I like to... Hold on, right there. I don't like to uh, hold sprint when I duck right away because I want to go this way, but it can. It didn't do it there, and I don't think it will, but it can launch you like over here, and you want to go that way. So, what I like to do is when I'm running around, crouch at the right time, and then wait until there's nothing overhead of her to start running again. And then here, I like her to be facing the door and then hit triangle when she's right in front of it. Like I mentioned before, some triangle prompts, you can like hold triangle approaching it. I don't recommend doing that for any of the triangle prompts so far. I like to move forward in a jogging animation before crouching. Sprinting makes it a little bit harder. Okay, now this clicker coming up. Sometimes, if you crouch under the door and then start sprinting again, uh, 
the clicker doesn't hear you. But what I've noticed, the clicker will hear you like 100% of the time if you crouch under the door at the very last second. Like as late as you can without getting a bonk. If you do that, the clicker should know you're there and then you can sprint. Because sometimes you jog. Okay. And be pretty far to the bonk. left. God damn it. So again, you want to... And also, don't hold down sprint. Again, just like before, don't hold down sprint when you're crouched and underneath the door because then you might launch in the wrong direction. So time a sprint after you're through the door. Right. So Keep. last second through the door sprint. Let's do it. That triangle prompt right there, you can uh, hold down approaching it. All right, this next area can be pretty easy to bonk on things. Oh, a military helicopter. It's gotta have something. Hang in there, Joel. So, just gotta time your crouches. You can hold sprint when you're underneath some things. Now. If I was running unpatched, she would be able to sprint here. But because it's the latest patch... You can't go through here. Because it's the latest patch, uh, for some reason she jogs. But like I said before, because of a couple restart encounters we do later on, uh, latest patch is still faster. So it's tempting, but don't run unpatched for left behind. And then you can like climb over here to end the area. But you can actually do it like as early as you possibly can, go. right over here, where the flat part is. Hurry, up here. All right, I'm gonna make a save file here because there's a lot of very I'm specific close, huh? movement. This whole section, you know, there's a bunch of nothing. Okay, it's all there. Riley manipulation. I'm impressed. That's what this is. Thanks. Well, come on. Up we go. So when I get a checkpoint here, I'm going to make a save so, file. How did you find them? The fireflies? Yeah. It's probably somewhere around here. So you can either gain or lose a, a lot of time if you don't know how to manipulate her movement here. <laughs> Remember that firefly you bit and stole his gun? Yeah. So you want to follow as close That's behind true. her as possible. I saw him walking down the street, so I tailed his ass. I follow him into this alley and all. I right, pretend she didn't do that. I slowed down on the restart encounter. They took me right to their hideout. Okay, and then you're sprinting. Then you want to slow down eventually. Were you she scared? She goes through the door and then. Terrified. She does that. I thought this time she would actually shoot. Now me. I want to show you something right instead, here. She just says, what if you, so long? you just oh, climb up, me. like right she away, behind her. When you get to the top, something you'll like freeze that. for a little bit. That whole almost killing me thing was a test. And there's She's a faster way to get up there. Oh. You will basically climb up faster if you're a certain distance away from her. And that involves climbing a little bit further to the left. And also look right here. If you just hop through here right away, Riley, when we get to the hole in the wall, will crouch underneath it right away. But it turns out, when you get finished with this spot right here, if you hop as far to the right as you can, not like over here, but like somewhere over here, like so, Riley will get to the hole in the wall and then like get bonked on it. And then you have time to get around her to the right and get in front of her. It's all for the sake of speed. So let me go back. So like I mentioned before, when you're approaching that first doorway, what you want to do is, like when she turns, you want to be sprinting with her. So, how did you find them? The fireflies? Yeah. <laughs> Remember that firefly you bit and stole his gun? You yeah, want to be sprinting with her, That's and then Trevor. when you see her running straight, I saw him let go. I down the street, so I tailed his ass. I follow him into this alley. You'll see, look at this. Okay, we turn. As soon as she's running straight, let go of sprint. She'll do a turn through the doorway, 
and then you sprint you like into her and you'll propel her forward. You, trust me, you want to do that. I'll show you what happens if you don't oh, nail that, but watch this. If we climb further to the left after she starts moving forward, you can move her right away instead of that little freeze. And it saves time with the movement there. Okay, now watch this. If you hop over far to the right, like I mentioned, Riley should bonk into the wall, and then you have time to get in front of her. And then there's some weird things that happen after this. The game doesn't really expect you to be in front of her. But watch this. If you get in front of her, Riley will, like, freeze behind you. Yeah, I suppose I should mention this now. You can actually climb back up right here. So the next... All the floor back there is unloaded and despawned. Even if Riley wasn't here, we can't go back. So this is really weird. Riley was, like, right behind us, so everything worked out. But if she was really, really, really far back, the game, when I hit the ground here, she would teleport right to me. Something can happen here where, like, this doesn't work and the game sort of crashes in-game. If Riley is somewhere in the middle, like, she's not right behind you, but she's not far away. If she's somewhere in, in between, she just despawns behind you. And then the game just kind of checkpoints you right... Well, it should be right around here. Yeah, it looks like that. So you'll drop down, it'll cut to black, and then place you right here. I don't really recommend, like, you don't really have a lot of control over that. All you can do is get in front of her at the hole in the wall, leap over the thing, and hop down here. If the game resets itself like I said it does, um, I would reset the run. Thankfully, it's only like three and a half minutes in. Uh, but the time save of getting in front of her, I think is worth it. It's over a second. Maybe even two seconds. Yeah, let's put that all together. And I'll show you the fastest movement. If I mess anything up, I'll let you know. This is why I made save files. I know it's a lot of weird stuff for just moving from point A to point B, but like I said, this is really all companion so AI manipulation. How did you find them? The fireflies? Which is a core theme yeah. of Last of Us speedrunning. <laughs> Remember that firefly you bit and stole his gun? Yeah, I remember. You want to run That's right true. behind her. I saw him walking down the street, so I tailed his ass. I follow him into this alley, and all when she turns and runs finish. forward, you're right next to her. Let they go of sprint. Right She'll turn, and then you kind of sprint into her. She'll run Terrifying. towards that green crate. This time she would actually you can shoot. climb this first one right, at, but instead right she just after says, her. When she starts so running forward like that, climb up a little bit to the left. Made you a and then you can hit this ledge Something as like early that. as possible. That whole almost killing me thing was a test. She wanted to know I was committed. And then hop oh. over this ledge really far to the right. And then you can get in front of her. Oh, all right, I wasn't far enough to the right. This is what happens. Like, you know, she's just blocking us. And then she can block us at the window, and it's really frustrating. 30 days, my ass. People are getting infected all the time. They just do a good job of hiding it. You've run into more infected? See, that's really what happens. You don't want that to happen, okay? So, it's important to get in front of her. Why that didn't work, I, um, I don't know. Sometimes it just doesn't work. But, like, if I was doing a run, I would reset over that. Again, thankfully, it's very early in the run. All right, we'll move on in just a second. So... How did you find them? The fireflies? Yeah. <laughs> Remember that firefly you bit and stole his gun? Yeah. Why is it misty that. in here all That's of a sudden? Trevor. I saw <laughs> him walking down the street, so I tailed his ass. That's odd. I follow him into this alley, and all anyway, these fireflies ambushed. Remember, as soon as you get here, they took me right slow to down. Out, to Marlene. Were you go. scared? Terrified. I thought this time she would actually shoot me. But instead, she just says... And then when Riley starts moving so forward, you can climb up, but make sure you're far enough to the left. She just made you a firefly? Something and then you can like go along the ledge that whole almost really early. 
She wanted to okay. know I was committed. Hop through. Oh. Right side of the ledge here. And Riley should bonk into the hole in the wall like that. Then you get in front of her. And then we go. I don't know why it's so misty. I'm kind of intrigued by that. But yeah, no matter what, don't pay attention to Riley. Don't pay attention to her. Just go. Okay. And you can tell if this works because she's right there. You can tell by the flashlight. So th what happened there, she was really far back and she teleported right here. It wastes too much time to turn around to check. Again, you just got to trust it. You'll you'll know if it happens or not. Um, and then right here, what you want to do is fall off to the left here in a jogging Shit. animation at the last second, and she'll just, like, drop right away. So you sprint all the way to the ledge, angle her left, and then let go of sprint just as she's about to drop. I know they jumped lately. Careful, it's wet. Hey, so... All right, how this area Maybe used to work is um, it used to be more Riley manipulation, but there's a restart encounter coming up where we don't have to worry about that. that um, so what we do, hang off to the right and then let go of sprint just as she hits the ledge, and then trouble. just like before, she'll <laughs> drop right away. Hey, remember the first time I brought you here? What are we doing here, Riley? So Riley can That's sometimes like really, what? really is trail behind you, like Maybe. a lot. I'll be your friend again. And if that happens, the run would be dead because we rely on a triangle prompt later. So what you want to do, there is a restart encounter. This time she was fast, but sometimes she is like really lagging behind. There, I don't have a gun, so I can't show a reticle, so look at the flashlight. This line, just before this line right here, is a restart encounter. It is a checkpoint that if you restart encounter there, will teleport both of you right to where Riley is. Even with RT, like timing at RTA, it's about the same speed. This isn't really like a time save, but it's more uh, time loss prevention. And I will show you if if you like forget which line in the ground it is. Look at the end of this thing right here, this big thing of bushes here, and the line that comes out from here. It's the one after that. So when I'm approaching this, I'm looking down, but I'm looking at which line is parallel to this right here to this line right there and then it's the one after that so here another way to tell is restart and counter when it goes from one minute to less than one minute ago that's when you know you hit the checkpoint so it's right about it's a bit right there it's a little bit before this line right here like I said and again what it does is it places you right here I can't believe Winston's gone. So we go from right here. Or we go from right over there to right here. Again, it looks like it saves more time than it does, but really it's time loss prevention. No matter what, I always do it in my runs. So, yeah. Okay, this one's a bit weird. I can't believe Winston's There's gone. There's a checkpoint you heard? Yeah. right at the you know corner where I'm looking. Like, look to the right of Ellie's head. Right there not that I don't know. not that beam just let's see what he left us really that wall just to the right of her head when you touch that corner there's a checkpoint okay now for the strat here the fastest <laughs> movement strat going. when you get to the you bottom heard? of the stairs as you yeah. can see right here Do you know how it happened you walk no matter what we're just walking I don't know. And then it takes a while to be able to start running again. So what we're going to do, it turns out, if you hit the <sighs> optional dialogue going. prompt here, you, you can heard? start running. So what we want to yeah. do is crouch as soon as you we get here, happened? and then mash triangle, and as soon as you hit worse. it, you can start running. Heart attack. That's the fastest way to do this. Man. So again, when you lose control of your running, crouch, Can't and then when you hit triangle on Riley's dialogue, you, you can start running again. Yeah. So there. Do you know how it happened? And then there. They said he just fell off his horse. Heart attack. Right, no, again, this is a difficult restart encounter to time well, perfectly. To but right? There. It's a, it's like half a second after Riley is done talking. How many people get to die of natural causes in this world? You'll hear Ellie like breathe in. Like as soon as she does that, it's not dialogue based, it's positioning based. So it's right at the corner of this wall. 
restart encounter, or just before. And it places you very, very far ahead. And let's see, this triangle prompt right here, you want Ellie's feet. Ellie, Normally you'd be, you'd be holding triangle in anticipation of this triangle prompt, but you want to be placed right about here. I'm pretty sure if you're placed here, yeah, yeah, you need to be in front of the thing. So, oh, checkpoint, okay. <laughs> Don't be like facing Riley, be off to her left. It's fine. I'll go first. Okay, now for this uh triangle prompt here, what you want to do is hold the left stick back right and the camera back right as well. But you want to take the first step in a jogging animation. Then and be holding triangle the whole time. So, like right even before you're able to move her, just do this and hold triangle. As soon as you see her move, then you can hold down sprint. If you hold down sprint the whole time, turning the camera can be kind of slow. I've noticed what makes it turn pretty fast is like the very first step she takes is jogging animation and then hold down sprint afterwards and then it just all happens faster. So it looks like this. You know what? <laughs> Hey, and you hit the triangle prompt as early as you possibly can. Because I remember a long time ago, I used to like try and time one triangle prompt press, stand right in front of it, and I would lose like two seconds because she would freeze trying to get into position. So it's one of those, as soon as like you see her move, then you hold down sprint. Holding down sprint the whole time doesn't work out too well. Riley. And then right here you can hold down triangle and open the door. All right, we're at the mercy of the game here. It's funny. I don't know if this is a speedrunning thing or a remastered thing, but all the like the lip syncing is off. It's because I hit triangle really quickly and early here. So watch this. Riley, perfect. You want to hit it early, like, and then I just like to mash triangle. Put it on. Put it on. The di the dialogue is all messed up because um I cut off. This isn't really speedrunning. It's it's more just visual kind of funny. Ellie's dialogue is supposed to be, so is that like a wolfman or something? But because I hit triangle so early, uh, it skips that dialogue. So all of Riley's dialogue in like uh, relation to her body language is just really off. Here, I'll show you. <laughs> yeah, bad ass. Yeah, bad now ass. Roar. Now roar. <laughs> it's just off. Roar. Ellie, really? Fucking roar! You, know, you don't have to mash as fast as I'm doing it, but... Whatever. Would you rather lose time? Okay, as soon as you can move her, which is about half a second after the camera changes, uh, you are forced to walk. And crouch walking is faster, just like before, crouch walking is faster than walking. And then you can start running again after Riley is done talking. So it all looks like this. And then... Now let's see what else this place has. Boom. And then just follow Riley. You don't have to do what I'm about to do, but I like it. See those cars down there? Yeah. You need to have the camera pointed at the cars for Ellie like to say, blue. yeah. If you don't, the game just won't proceed. I like to pick up this brick so Riley doesn't like pick up has. one of mine that I use. Loser has to... Okay, Answer now for this fight. No sarcasm. I'll do it once and then go back. Uh, you know what, let me uh, save this under a file. File 9, and then go back. So I'll do this perfectly once and then go over the things. Alright, fool. You're on. Um, yeah, right there, there's a... Uh, is when the section starts. Ellie's like, alright, fool, you're on. And then right after is when... Uh, the, the encounter starts. And I like to stand right here in anticipation, like pre-align the camera so that when you aim, it's right on the windshield. Oh. Uh -huh. And then you're right yeah. next to another brick. Boom. So a p perfect fight should look like this. And that's how you do it. Oh. Yeah, you like that? Most of the time, right after I throw a brick, I'm right next to another one. Last one. And then 
then that is that. Now I want to show you the hit boxes of this. So when it comes to the windows, watch this. Bullshit. Ah! It is bullshit. I'll show you again. I suck. Yes, you do, Riley. Watch. Even ah! though the reticle is like 80% filled on the window. It's not hitting. So when it comes to the windows, you want to aim on the upper half. Watch this. What? Okay, that didn't work. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> Trust me. When it comes to the side windows, you want to aim on the upper half. Come on. See that? There's no way that would have hit if I was aiming towards the bottom half. Uh, now, the opposite applies to the windshields. Watch this. Even though the reticle was on like 80% of the windshield or something, it just doesn't count. But watch the opposite way. It's ridiculous, right? I know. And the same thing kind of applies restart, to uh, the sunroof. Watch if I'm back here. That should hit. It missed. But if I'm down here, literally. Okay, bad, bad example. There we go. Okay, point being when it comes to the vertical windows, aim towards the top. When it comes to the sunroof and the windshield, aim towards the bottom. All right. Okay. So all together, and notice like yeah. where I start the fight and then eventually where I go. So I get the back window first. I'm right next to yeah, another like brick. Two down. I get this one. There's one back here. Oh, Riley wants that one. Too bad. I get that one. I come back here. I think she stole my brick. Yep. All right. So let me do this quickly because she's stealing my bricks. There's one. Yeah. It hit that. Okay, scratch that. <laughs> right. Okay. There. Here we go. There's one. Ha. There's yeah. another. Two down. That'll work. Over. There's another. There's another. And that's how you do it. I like to get this one over here. And then hey. go around for that one, then get another brick yeah, right like there. That. And then I'm right next to another one after I throw this. And then throw that one. Okay. Now, another thing that is really, really annoying. Watch this. Yeah. This is an easy mode only thing, but watch this. If I have... On easy mode, the camera wants to automatically what? correct itself so it's pointing towards the center. So watch this. After you've spent a long enough time with the camera God. just somewhere else, when you take a step forward, the game corrects itself to this point right huh. here. It's whether it's facing too far down or too far up. See, I'm just moving around. Uh, notice my hand is off the right stick. And then it eventually just corrects itself to somewhere. If you're pointing down, it, it's here. If you're pointing up, it's somewhere down here or up there. So it, that close. mechanic built into the game is so inconvenient for this fight. Bullshit. So if you miss a brick throw, the run's pretty much dead. If you're trying for a really good time, the run's pretty much dead. That is something you might have to uh, fight with when you're doing an attempt. However, if you're aiming, Come on. you won't have to deal with this. So if you want to aim early and then either move the camera or move Hard. Ellie, that's highly recommended. And I noticed for this fight, for, with every window except for the last two, 
I prefer to move Ellie instead of the camera. I might move it briefly, but when hitting these windows that are closer to me, I prefer to move Ellie instead of being flat-footed and moving the camera. I don't recommend doing both. That can be a little tricky. The only way I'll do that is if I, like, want to move it up and, the, or, like, a quick flick in the right direction. But, like, slowly moving one or the other. So when doing this fight, for the first one, two, three, four, five... I'm moving Ellie, not really the camera. But when it comes to these two, I find it's a bit more comfortable because they're further away to keep Ellie still and right. then move the camera. So all together, it will look like this. God. I like to be right here. Pre-align the camera. All right, fool, you're on. Aim. Boosh. Keep in mind, you might have to be dealing with the camera correction. And that's how you do it. Two down. Yeah, you like yeah. that? Last one. And remember, those side windows, if you're going to miss somewhere, miss up. Bingo. Do it again. Trust me, you can't practice this area enough, all right? You may think you get it, but then you do it in a run, and you just bullshit miss it somehow. I've... <laughs> When I was grinding this, I missed so many windows. It was stupid. Okay. Um, all right, fool. You're on. Boosh! Bullshit. Ha! Yeah. All right. Maybe run a little bit further than right. aim. And then if you want another... No, what is it? Okay. Now, after this brick is thrown, I used to think... Like, what you have to do next is move Riley to a door that she opens. And it turns out, where you finish the brick throwing, like where Riley is standing, it actually places Riley right there. So if you're really far away from the door, like right here, you're going to be far away from the door. So after you throw this, you want to run to the left. So leaving this area will look like this. All right. All right, fool. You're on. Boom. Boosh! Yeah, you like that? Go down. I almost missed that one. It was too low. Yeah. I mean, that was good. Ha! Crash! <sighs> All right! All right. That's now, one. after I throw this... Run to the left and turn the camera to the right. Yes! Brick fucking master. And Ellie and Riley will be conversing like a lot closer yeah, to the door whatever, that you need to go. All right, question time. So don't uh, think you're finished working just okay. after you throw that last brick. Because that means you're closer to this door. You know what? Which is where you eventually need to go. Now, I've noticed if you just keep wow. moving, okay. Riley will continue huh. to keep moving Let as well. We're almost there. Which is what you want. And then give her some space. Now, I, what I like to do, this isn't mandatory, but I like to get in front of her a little because I think that speeds her up. What are we doing here? And then what I like to do here is I like to go down these so, stairs, like you know rounding the corners. Then when I get closer to the bottom, yeah. I, take a, I take a cut here. Follow me. Because you can lose time here if, um, if what? If you take a weird route, Riley can sometimes take longer on the stairs. So what I have noticed, again, is if you round the corner on the stairs very tight, Riley will go down the stairs faster as well. You want to get pretty far in front of her, but get to the bottom of the stairs as fast as you can. Because she's the one who's got to turn this on. So let me do all of that again. Then I'll keep it under this file and we'll continue. Bingo! Right about here. All right, fool, you're on. Bullseye! Remember, you want to hit the top oh. of the windows. You want the top window. You want to hit the bottom part. Right. Side windows. You want to hit the top part. Ha. Two down. You want to hit the bottom part. Of that and one. How you do it? And then the top part on these. And then after you throw it, run left. Turn the yeah. camera right. Fucking mess! 
Okay, I wasn't as far left as that time. You can see a difference in the camera angles there. Before, Riley was standing in front of uh, that poster right there. But we're still close. That's all that matters. So again, when you get right here, you just want to keep moving. If Riley, like, freezes, kind of walk towards her. Just keep moving. Then kind of walk into her. Just get her to keep moving. We're almost there. Now that was pretty good. And like like I said, right here, you don't have to do the backpack thing. I just think it's a little bit faster. Okay, but then right here, you want to surpass her and round the corner quickly. Get to the you bottom of the stairs as early as you can and then start going for the doorway. Yeah. You can turn around. Follow me. You want to get that dialogue, follow me, like when she's in the doorway. And then that's it. That was good. I've heard theories that it's faster if you hop over the crate here. You can if you want. I don't think it is. Right here, you can hold down triangle, and when she opens it, just run into it. No way this is going to work. Okay. Now, there's a restart encounter coming up. There's two, actually. They both involve... Um... What is it? Um, it's the very moment the camera changes. And this is the main reason why PS4 latest patch is the fastest. It has to do with loading screens. I mentioned before, oh, unpatched, you can sprint that last stretch in the beginning. But if you do these restart encounters unpatched, the loading screens are ridiculously long. Latest patch reduces loading screens by quite a bit. So, um, let me just show you. It's on the camera turn, right on the camera turn. There, right there, as soon as the camera changes, right there. Restart encounter. And then you don't get a loading screen. It just goes to the next spot right away. And that uh, that's a lot faster than just letting the scene play out. You ready to see this? Wait, I I know what you're trying to do. That makes the latest I'm patch faster. It's not faster if you don't do those restart encounters. I'm if really glad if you do, if, if you're doing a restart encounterless run, I mean, uh do it unpatched. But that's I'm not really glad a thing. That we're back so. together and I didn't mean it. All that stuff I said before I left. I didn't mean any of it. Riley, you're such a sap. <laughs> Bet you started it. <laughs> oh, man. Are you ready? Totally. <laughs> All right. This next restart encounter is as soon as the camera, t uh, as soon as it cuts to black. So right there. Do a restart encounter, as you can see, like current time Ellie in the background there. Otherwise, the black screen transition to this scene takes a little bit longer. So it saves time. All right. You don't need a brick, so don't pick that up. But we do need this ammo. I've tried doing this next fight with only four bullets that you also get later on. But no, you need the eight that the game gives you in, in your way. You really do. In this run, try not to rely on them giving you enough ammo for this fight. Go into it with enough ammo. Okay, so after we attempt to turn this generator on, there's a note here. End of the line. And some ammo here. You don't want... We don't care about the note, but we don't want to pick up this ammo, like, right here, because we have to do a crouch. So what we're going to do... Yeah, shit places right here. Um, what we're going to do is afterwards, we're going we to... Go. End of the line. Like, after we attempt to turn the generator on, we're going to turn the camera this way and walk this way, and... There's no, there will be no triangle prompt on the generator, so the note is what's going to be the indicator to pick up. If you time a triangle prompt, you'll actually be mashing triangle. Uh, if you time mashing triangle like twice, I'd just mash it like crazy. You'll pick up the note and the ammo in one go so that um, you do it standing up. The game says, oh, you picked up the note, but you were also pressing triangle, so you pick up the ammo as well. And then you hold down triangle approaching this. If you, just like the n the first note we pick up in, in the game, if you, there's the ca camera doing the thing again, like I said. 
If you hit triangle this way, Ellie will correct herself, so you want to hold triangle approaching it and facing this way. I know that's a lot for not much going on, but just watch. It all looks like this. Nothing? Out of juice. Just like that. That was perfect. Now, as for hitting this triangle prompt, you want to be facing it and mash and hit triangle once. Here we go. Pretty late. As Another you can one. see, she approaches it right away. You don't want to hit it too early because you might accidentally pick up the note. So you want to be facing it straight on and hit triangle just a little bit late. And like I said, note, ammo, hold triangle and fall facing Ellie that way. It was good. Empty. Maybe I can find some. Okay, and then you use this time right here to reload your gun. Now, with this fight, the enemies will spawn in about halfway past this the front of this truck. Um, you know what? Just for safekeeping, just in case, let me uh, make a save file here. This fight, there's two different ways to do it. I'll go over the simple way. And this fight, it doesn't matter. You can practice it as many times as you want. Uh, doing it from... Here versus doing it from a restart encounter, there's no difference at all. Alright, so here's the normal way to do it. Oh, headshot. Gotta be headshot. If you can get the headshot up there, that's fine. If not, right there. If you're not feeling comfortable with a headshot, wait for it to hop down and then stab it in the back. Here, I'll show that off. I'll show this off quite a few times. Headshot. So it's like, oh, I want to save ammo, like if you're not like too experienced of a speedrunner. This stalker right here is not really active until a few seconds after it hops down. So if you want to play it safe... If you want to play it safe... You can do this. There's no danger in doing that at all. But the fastest way to do this encounter would be... be getting it right here. Nope, missed. Would be getting it up there. The earlier you kill this one, the sooner the game will recognize the encounter is over. You know. But it's still not bad. Okay, first things first. This headshot. When I... You want to, like, crouch early because it knows I'm there. So, don't crouch, like, as soon as they spawn in, but a little bit later. Just past the front of this truck. Like, right there. And then aim it so the stalker kind of walks into your reticle. The stalker's movement is the same, and when you aim at him, he does like a, a step to the right so that like it's northeast of where you would think it would be. It's a, it's a pretty consistent headshot. I'll just focus on this for now. So crouch. Oh, I missed. You know, headshot registrations in this game can only be so so good. Uh, but crouch and yeah, over exaggerate, aiming like slightly above him. You don't want to get this standing up either. You want to crouch, so get that and then reload. Pick up any ammo they drop. Body shot him, and then headshot him. If you have enough ammo, you can three hit hit him or whatever. But yeah, um, what really sets the tone for this fight is if you get that headshot. Reload right away, get the ammo on that table, body shot him, no need to headshot him, and then whether you headshot him or not, that's fine. And then that's what I'm talking about. You want to headshot him up there. 
and then the section will end just a little bit sooner. A little bit. Not drastic. But yeah, like I said, this first headshot sets the tone. Just practice, practice, practice. Because you don't want to get alerted by that stalker. And I recommend being over here and crouching. Those three body shots can be difficult. So you want to be, like, kind of close. Because even just being a little bit further back, and if you're standing, the, the weapon sway is, like, a little bit worse compared to crouching. So uh, I like to crouch for a lot of these distant shots. Let's do it again. Again, kind of anticipate where that stalker's head is going to be. It's very consistent. Crouch. One, two, three. You don't have to headshot him. If you're feeling lucky, get the headshot early. If not, that's pretty consistent. And if not, go behind and stab him. He won't hurt you. So, all put together again, looks like this. Get used to... Alright, reload. Get the ammo. Body shots. And then... One, two, three. Alright, don't have time, so... I'm gonna go. Um, and then, yeah, that's pretty much it. You just get the gas, you get the gas can and then wait right there. That's where you get it from. There's nothing really else to pick up. Uh, you can check to see if this stalker right here, you can check to see if he dropped ammo. But again, when getting this first headshot, I recommend being crouched. So yeah, what I like to do afterwards is get the health that's here, but we have full health, so we don't need it. And then check if this one drops some, then get the gas and go here. Now, I don't know if you've been noticing, but the time that the third stalker hops in is random. The way their spawns work is, you know, the first and the second one are spawned in. The third and the fourth ones won't spawn in until the first one has been killed. Then a certain time later, the third and the fourth one will spawn in. So really, it's how quickly you kill the first one, which will determine the third one's spawn. However, there are some instances where this guy will spawn in early or he'll spawn in late. You don't have any control over that. That is a very random thing with this with this area. The more you practice, the more you'll be like, I headshot him, reloaded, pick up the ammo, I three body shot him, I'm crouched, I'm in position. Sometimes you'll be waiting for him to spawn, and other times he's already hopped in. It's, I'll do it once more. So that one was pretty good. But yeah, you'll notice sometimes you'll just be left waiting. Again, headshotting them from there is a little bit easier. So, yeah, that's that. Okay. Now, I know you're like, oh, Ant, there's a Molotov right there. It's not normally there. If you restart encounter a lot on easy mode, the game will place ammo and Molotovs and a bunch of crafting ingredients and stuff in your way. If you're doing a first try speed run, this isn't there. So don't rely on it. Just ignore it. Okay, I'm going to show off an advanced strat. It is very, very advanced. It might take a few tries for me to get it, but what it does is I kill the first three so quickly, the fourth one never spawns in, and the area ends six seconds faster than what I was showing you. Again, might take a few tries for me to get it, but I have to show this off because it's already been incorporated into the record. So if you want a record, you have to get this. But it's tough, and, and it's different. I got it. Is that it? You see that dialogue? Is that it? Yeah, sounds like it. Okay, find some gas. That triggers in so much earlier compared to the old strat. Uh, let me just do it a few more times, then I'll explain exactly what I'm doing. Oh, fuck. Oh. 
All right, yeah, I can't save it. If you don't headshot that one, you can't really save it. That's why it's tough. Alright, that looked like it worked, but it didn't work. See that? Like I said, this is a very advanced strat. And it's so far away, I only have like four shots to hit him. I want to headshot him. Let me get it successfully a couple more times and then I'll explain it. Perfect. See that? No, f that no fourth spawn. So what I'm doing is I'm aiming towards the bottom left of the vent. Bottom left. And then as soon as I see him spawn in, I just open fire. Head a headshot is nice. You can get it to work with three body shots, but it's unlikely. Also, once you've aimed at him, I don't know if it's, be it's because you're aiming through something or what, but don't try to adjust. Just aim it there, and then try and keep it perfectly still. If you messed up like a pre-aim, then you're fucked. Okay. So a few more times, then I'll explain. Oh, fuck. That's... Yeah, that didn't work. If I had hit, hit that first shot, it might have worked. There we go. Alright, you're seeing it work. Is that it? Yeah. Then what I like to do, what I would normally do is get the ammo, find thinking. some gas, and then boom. Okay, first things first. Again, if you're just beginning, I would not recommend doing this strat. Try for your own personal best and get the fastest time you can using the strat I showed off earlier. Um, but yeah, the main difference with this strat right off the bat, because as you can see, we're still headshotting the first one, but I'm doing it at a different time and in a different location. So watch this. I'm not even going to focus on shooting it. I'm going to focus on the setup. So right here, I crouch right at the moment where I would otherwise normally get alerted, which is right there. So right at the point you would otherwise get alerted, crouch. So right there. Oh, fuck. And as you can see, it doesn't know I'm there. Stars. Then next is the headshot. There's actually like a rhythm to the timing of it. And it's funny. It's like, oh, fuck. I know, I know this sounds ridiculous, but this is what I use to time it. Because if you notice I was getting that third headshot pretty consistently. That's not a fluke. If I time this headshot perfectly, this stalker will do the exact same thing every time. If I headshot this one too early or too late, he'll do something different, and I'm not prepared to deal with that. If I headshot him too early, he'll show up earlier. If I headshot him later, he'll show up later. But literally, my timing is, and I'm always moving. Like, just because I'm crouched doesn't mean I stop. When I crouch, I'm still moving, and then I aim and shoot. I kind of do a pre-alignment of the camera where I think the reticle's going to be, and then I adjust it at the last second. And it's kind of the same thing. The stalker will move to the right, and I just need to anticipate where his head is going to be. But the timing for it is literally like, oh, fuck. I'll just keep repeating it. It's like a metronome. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. You know? <laughs> it's weird, but that's what I use. There. Crouch, keep moving. Oh, fuck. Be there. And that worked. Is that it? See that? Now watch what happens if I fire if I get the headshot too early. Oh fuck. Well, the key word there is headshot. <laughs> Oh, fuck. 
see that? He kind of he kind of showed up a little bit earlier. Now sometimes he'll do this thing where he like stands here and then runs forward, but sometimes he'll just round the corner right away. Let me do that one more time to show you. This is what I don't want to happen. So that was early, and he shows up early. I can adjust on the fly. Ooh, that was good. <laughs> if you want, you can do that and anticipate him showing up early, but I'm more comfortable with him showing up a little later. Now, if you headshot him too late... Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Oh, there he is. But by that time, he's already spawned in. It's too late. See that? Too late. So again, too early, you can actually, like, adapt, and instead of dragging the reticle this way, you can flick it that way and get a headshot, but I'm more for consistency with this strat, so what I like to do again is timing. Oh, fuck. And listen, like I said, it's like a metronome. Oh, fuck. And then, boom, no, well, pretend that first shot missed. That would be a rip run. But yeah, something about getting that headshot is consistent to me. Oh, fuck. Oh. Ah, I missed. If you miss any shots, that's it. But again, there's the randomness I was mentioning earlier. Sometimes he shows up later, sometimes he shows up earlier. It's just random. But again, it's the timing. And notice I'm crouch walking all the way up until I start aiming. Now even though I killed him, I missed a shot. If you don't headshot him and you body shot him instead, you better make sure you hit your first three shots very quickly. Again, it's one of those things, you don't have time to slowly line it up. But again, the timing. Crouch, keep moving, keep moving. Oh fuck, headshot. Oh, that was too late. I had shot him too late there. Had to be a little bit earlier. Crouch. Oh, fuck. That was good. I know he'll be right here. Headshot. And... Headshot. Beautiful. Is that it? It's the best way I can... And when I get right here... When I get this headshot, I'm standing up. When I'm going for these shots right here, I'm crouched. So I'll do it. I'll get a successful attempt one more time. Crouch. Keep moving. Oh fuck! Boom. That shot. Boom. Oh yeah. And then you use this time to get any ammo and health inside that truck, and then yeah. Remember, I get this headshot standing up. I aim at him while I'm crouched. All right, let's let's show off the two examples again. This is the old way. Reload, get the ammo, three body shots, he drops ammo, great, one, two, three, headshot, or headshot, or if you don't want to get the headshot up there, he drops down, stab. And then the one that I just showed before, crouch, remember, think of it like a metronome, oh, I did it too late. Did it too late. I'll get one more successful try out of this. Just to show you, it can be done if you practice it enough. Okay, that was an early headshot. Oh, I got it! Okay, so right there, I shot him early and he showed up earlier, but you can still make it work. If you're gonna miss one way or the other, make sure you do it at least a little early. But it, again, just think of it like a metronome. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. It's one of the weirder strats I will ever describe to you. Oh, fuck. Again, the advanced strat is a, about six seconds faster than a perfect performance of the, of the safer strat, if you will. Okay, and it doesn't really matter how much ammo you leave with here. The game will compensate you in some way, shape, or form later on. Okay. 
Come on. Yes, let's move on, shall we? Right. Nothing really to say here. Just, um... But I... No matter what strat you do, after you're finished, make sure you get the health inside of this truck. Because of all the restart encounters we're doing, the game is giving us some health back. But when you're doing a first try only run, the next room we're going to take, take a lot of damage. So you want to get the health in this truck. And you're otherwise just waiting for the gas tank. So unless you're going to be losing time, get the health in the truck. And how much uh, ammo you should leave here with, again, it doesn't really matter. It, it's really the next time you use it is the final fight. So... Maybe seven or eight is a good amount, but if you have less than that, um, I have a feeling I have a good feeling you'll get a drop in some way, shape, or form much later on. Whether it's right before Final Fight Part Two, or when you first encounter enemies after leaving the helicopter, you know the game will compensate you some way. Sometimes one of the enemies up top drops ammo, so you can get it there. So no matter what, leaving here, I wouldn't stress about how much ammo you have. Okay, if you are a beginner and you want a little bit of insurance for the final fight, you absolutely don't need this, but there's a thing of ammo and a Molotov right here. So when you climb up the ladder, you go right here, drop, pick it up, and then climb back up, and you go. However, whoa, what was that in the background? <laughs> Everything like glitched out for a second. Anyway, since we are going for the fastest thing possible here, we do not need uh, that ammo or that Molotov. So after you climb the ladder, we're just going to go on our way. Easy. Easy. I like to hold down sprint after we get underneath Easy. those things. And you can cut your corner there a things little bit, but don't push your luck. And there's three bullets right there. You can pick that up. And we don't need a brick or bottle for the next area. Okay, now normally what you would do is you would open this thing, or this door, then open this door, and move this thing underneath the door here, then climb up here, then climb up here, and then go across there. But it turns out you don't need to do that. Because... If you place this thing right about here, you can climb a... Oh, shit. Nope, ignore that. Ignore that. She's fine. She's fine. What I was going to say. <laughs> if you're not careful with your camera angling, you can mess this up. Basically what I'm saying is you can climb up this, and then climb up the crate, and then you can climb up there. However, if you place... This is probably what happened. If you place this too close to that railing, you can't climb up the railing. Here, I'll show you some things that can happen. Just like that. Make sure the camera's facing to the left. If this thing is like too close right here, I don't think you're gonna be able to climb up the yellow railing, but what you can do instead is just climb up this. So it serves a purpose. You know, normally, like, you can't climb up this thing, okay? You can't. But for some reason, the game, like, replaces climbing on the railing here for climbing up the thing. So you can either go with that, or what is faster, is if you place it right about here and you damn it come on game <laughs> work with me is you climb this and then you climb this if you notice the climbing is faster compared to just like if you climb it just like that the climbing is a little bit slower compared to that and then that 
that was a way longer explanation than it needed to be. <laughs> Again, don't stress about bricks or bottles. You don't need them for the next area. Or even for the final fight. You actually don't need a brick or bottle at any point during this run. So I like to angle so the corner, this corner right here, this corner right here, is like pointing perfectly in the direction of this railing. And then it can still be pretty far away. This can actually be even further away than that. So like right there. So that looks pretty good. Um, so then you just climb this and then climb that. Just like that. Let me bring this back and then show it to you one more time. If you if you just climb the crate, again, that's okay. So we're moving, we're moving, we're moving, and we're angling it just about there. So we climb that, climb that, and then climb that. Practice, you'll get it. But you want to do the railing, then the crates. Okay, I've lost a lot of runs to this part right here. What you want to do is drop down. What I like to do is, just as she's about to leave this ledge, I let go of sprint, and then I kind of, like angle her down this way it's tough because you want to like drop her down there and then there if you fall too down there you gotta climb over this thing but if you're too far to the right you fall into the water and it can be a little inconsistent if you're primarily using uh, sprint so again what I like to do is let go and then only hold it back down when she's about to drop and then as a side effect of not opening up that other door. You don't need to press this button. The door is just kind of semi-open, like one frame later. So again, when I'm leaving the ledge there, like I, I hop down, I like to hit sprint at the very last second, just to maintain a little bit of control over her. Because I've lost a lot of runs for some reason to her just falling in the water. It's very strange. There we go. Climb that, climb that, and climb that. That was good. And then just notice my inputs. I let go of sprint, then I hold it back down at the last second. And then we approach this room. Okay. that worked okay so that's the strat how does it work um well first thing you do is you start sprinting like a second after you get into the room and then yeah that should work let me see if it works yeah it works okay what makes that work is where you throw the Molotov. But I want to show you something. If you start sprinting right away, the, the, the damage taken there doesn't matter, but sometimes... Hold on, I'm going to keep doing this until it happens. Sometimes what can happen? Well, sometimes he can grab you. Come on. Game, are you going to work with me here or not? Probably not. There it is. Notice I didn't do anything differently that time. It's just a flip of a coin. Heads, he grabs you. Tails, he swings at you. To avoid that from happening, what you want to do is jog for one second. So then he's kind of... You're kind of past him. Oh. Yeah, as for that right there... There's going to be randomness. He didn't even catch fire. Oh, yes, he did. Anyway. Um, yeah, what you want to do is you want to throw... I probably will get alerted here, but... What you want to do is you want to throw this Molotov, like, right here. If you throw the Molotov too far into the room... The runners that are chasing you, 
they will hit you at the doorway before they have time to combust. The earlier you throw the Molotov here, the faster they'll combust after walking through it. It's not the, like, it hitting the ground that makes them catch on fire. It's them running through it. Because they're chasing you, you know? But this Molotov also has to kill that runner over there that's running towards you facing front. Also, right before... Uh-oh. It's easy mode, so they won't hear me. Where does this pathfinding take us? Whatever. Anyway, I want to show you something. When you throw this Molotov, make sure you're crouching. Because if you're standing and you throw it, she gets staggered. You know, I'll, I'll show it off right here. It, oh, over there. Like, where'd my Molotov go? You get it right here. You don't need a med kit for this run. Okay, so if you throw a Molotov at your feet while you're crouched, you're not blown back by it. It's the same thing if you're playing as Joel. But if you're standing, ouch, that hurt, let me cover my face. You know, so when you throw this Molotov at the ground, you want to, uh, uh, be crouched. Okay, so putting that all together, I know it's quite a bit, but now when a restart encounter is an accurate simulation of how like, it'll work in an actual run. The only difference is where it places you. Like, normally, you'll enter through right here. You want to jog for one second and then start sprinting. I like to use, like, just before this line as the point you start sprinting. Again, you can risk it and start sprinting right away, but you might get grabbed by that runner. To complete... Also, also, if you start sprinting right away, that clicker can sometimes be like right here and then you're killed. I've had it where I was doing a run, I I leaped through and I died right there just because there was a clicker right there. I want to see if I can get that to happen actually. Now, for some reason he's it's a restart encounter thing. When you do it in an actual run, if you sprint right away, the clicker can literally be right there and I've died. So, this 1 second jogging. It's all right. There. It does two things. You won't get grabbed by that runner behind you, and that clicker won't be there. And again, you have to throw that Molotov pretty early into the room. Whoa, that was close. <laughs> but yeah, that's the strat. Make sure you get the Molotov. Again, the hardest thing to judge is this runner right here. Once you see him sprinting towards you, look down and throw it. That's that's the other thing you have to look out for. It's not just throwing it on the ground. I like to start crouching. I like to start crouching when I see that runner in front of me. Sprint. If you see him take a weird route, like to the right or left, then I kind of stay in place a little bit. Now look at that. You know you cut it close when the screen lights up orange. Because then he's like right there. Let me show you what happens if I throw the Molotov too late. Well, that might actually work. But let me... Okay, that worked, but again, it's um, one of those things. Also, a strat I used to do was I would throw the Molotov at this runner. Like this. But when that happens, and you saw it right there, he would freeze in place. Alright, I don't know what business that had working. I failed this area a lot because of some very minor things. I've noticed if you do the lock-on on that runner, he's running towards you, but then he freezes. And again, you want to throw the Molotov early so the people behind you have time to combust. So I really recommend, you know, wait the second and then start sprinting to avoid this runner and avoid this clicker to the right. But then when you see him start sprinting, crouch and move forward and then do a manual throw towards the ground. L1R1. 
and then you got to trust it. That can sometimes just happen. And if that does happen, it's unfortunate. It'll lose you time, but you should be able to still make it through. Yeah. That's the one thing that can happen. Again, a way to lower the chances of that happening is to throw the Molotov a little bit earlier. But that's why I crouch early, so I give time for that runner in front of me to come towards me. Oh, that runner's way out of position, so I'm just going to... Yeah. But that worked. <laughs> Prioritize throwing the Molotov pretty early into the room. However, still taking that first one out with you. That should work perfectly. Yep. Alright, I'll do it one more time. There's nothing really else to explain. It's just a jog for just a little bit. Leap through as far to the right as you can. That runner has to burn. And then that's how close it cut it. I'll continue. Okay, now if you hold down sprint right here and move forward, um, what is it? Ellie will still be like jogging right away. So what you want to do is hit sprint at the very last second, right before you move her, and that she'll sprint right away. So it looks like this. There, just like that. And then you want to be facing this triangle prompt. And then holding triangle there. Now this clicker will sound like it gets really close to you, but you'll never get killed if you do it that quickly. And then climbing this, you want to climb it toward in the middle, but have a far right angle. Because then you can jog the rest of the way. Okay, she's not jogging, because of course she's not. I don't really know what causes that to happen. Let me see if I can do that again. Did I hit a weird checkpoint? But yeah, you want to climb it like at an angle this way, because then she can move at the top. If you climb it perfectly straight on, she, um, she'll she do the thing where she climbs, but then she freezes at the top. Then you move forward, and then you notice the broken glass. Uh-oh. Oh, I need to be quiet here. <laughs> the checkpoint makes it really inconvenient. <laughs> Oh no! Go, go, go! <laughs> don't worry, you don't have to worry about that with uh, going from the store, it's just the checkpoint where it places you. Okay, so climb at a steep angle so she can move right away. And then right there, yeah, she's supposed to jog. Sometimes you don't get the jog. If that happens, uh, crouch. It's a bit of an unknown. But that weird angle on the climb, that's important. Could be you have to be far to the left. I'm not sure. Okay. That's a lot that has to go right, isn't it? <laughs> Fast brick fight. That's super difficult strat with the stalkers. Getting through that room. Yeah, it's a lot. That's what it takes. Totally. <laughs> All right, up next is the Angel Knives machine. Are you kidding? I told you. This looks fancy. So for the Angel Knives Want machine, the first See what's up over there. nine prompts are all scripted. It's Whoa, the same prompts every me. time. And if you have a perfect fight, if you have a perfect fight, and what I mean by a perfect fight is you do all the prompts perfectly and you don't take any damage, there will be a lot of dialogue at the end of the fight. It'll be like, perfect, your time here's done, finish her, and then you get the prompts at the end. If you take one thing of damage somewhere throughout the fight, um, that dialogue, perfect, is not is missing, and instead, it's either nothing or your time here is done. Point is, it's faster. First, 
So during one of these scripted prompts, we are going to fuck it up. And that will cause us to take damage. Am I supposed to and then we do the rest. Okay, sorry. She now, as for the unscripted the prompts, the way this works, uh, I'll just let, I'll just talk through this. The way this works is, after the first nine prompts, the rest of the prompts are completely random. They're either block prompts or attack prompts. But the cool thing is, you're not penalized for a uh, an incorrect prompt. Um, so the strat is literally. Hold on, let me turn off my controller just to show you. The strat is literally this. You can have these held down. If you have a fat thumb, you can just press these. Here, you can't hold them all down at the same time, so just cycle through them. But yeah, that's the strat. That's what you do. Um, hold on. There we go. Out for your blood. The music kicks up as he gets into his fighting stance. You ready? Bring it. Round one. Um, for this, I'm going to move my hand cam over here. Fight. Round one starts. Black Fang rushes. And you just gotta to memorize them. Off the top of my head, the first one is up, the next one is square. The next one is left and triangle at the same time, but you actually want to mess it up like this. So the the dialogue is sped up. That's one thing. You don't take damage from it, but it's faster if you like do it incorrectly instead of at the same time. Instead of like a bunch of dialogue, it's you got to press them together and then the next one shows up right away. Uh, the fourth one is down up circle. Uh, the one after that is mashing square. The next one is up triangle circle. And then the next one is just triangle. But that's the one we want to mess up. So what we do is we just mash one of these three buttons, either square, X, or circle. I like to press all three, but we just mash it. And then the next one is down right square, and then down square, down square. And then the ones after that are random. Did you memorize that? No? Okay, let me show you. He throws a double punch in your direction. Jump up! The first two you can actually hold down in anticipation. But I still like to press him. Okay, this one we're gonna mess up on purpose. Not mess up, but like instead of left triangle, it's left and triangle. It looks like this. Hold back and block to counter. You gotta press them together. Down up circle. Nice. Mash square. Like a madman. Up triangle circle. Now we're gonna mess this one up. And then down right square, down square, down square. Now every single one after this is random. So remember the strat. See, there was no perfect. Your time here is done. Now, an another thing you can do is do all the scripted prompts properly and then mess up an optional block prompt. But that would involve noticing it and then, like, letting... That, that would entail noticing the prompt and then, like, stopping doing that, which, I'm sorry, you don't have time to. Oh, so I recommend taking the damage busted. during, like, one of the scripted ones. Then it's down right square, down square, down square. And then you still can. mash like a crazy man. That's the strat. <laughs> Close your eyes. Do it. Okay. Use this to move. Now I also want to show you something. This is the very okay. dumbness First, of the fight. You your character. You're playing. Uh, let me let this play out a little bit longer. Claw and then I'll show you. Yet drop dead gorgeous angel knife. Am I supposed to picture all this? Eyes. Okay, sorry. She stands on the Ironic edge that of the I used the word temple, dumbness. An ancient mystical <laughs> building where they hold the tournaments of the immortals. Your opponent, Black Fang, steps out of the temple. He's this super ripped white dude with three arms. He's out for your blood. The okay. Um let's see, right here. 
Here's the randomness of the block prompts. If a fight is perfect, you don't get any block prompts. Like I said, the first nine prompts are the same. The ones after that are random. Watch this. This is a run from a very long time ago, over four years ago. Watch how many block prompts I got after the scripted ones were done. You got it. All right, these are non-scripted. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No. Eight total, five in a row. Now let's look at my current record. For blade charge. Block him. Oh. Hits you with your down forward punch for a special move. Holy fuck! Finish him. I didn't get any. <laughs> I didn't get any blocks. So that's the weirdness of this area. The, this, this, it's not a fight. Music this section. As he gets into his fighting stance. After the first you're nine, you're not in control you're of what right. happens. You gotta rely on luck. You can either get eight or none. I've had Black Fang people tell me that they've gotten more a double punch than in eight. Direction. Jump up! There! He overshot you. You land behind him. Quickly, punch him in the back. You nailed him with a wicked elbow, taking off like 15% of his health. Yes! He spins around and comes back with a shadow claw attack. Alright, mess this one up. Hold back and block to counter. You gotta press them together. Down up circle. Nice. Mass square. Up triangle circle. Hit up, block, and for blade. mash buttons that aren't triangle. You mess it up. Down right square. Down square, down square. And random. One. Two. Two is pretty good. So yeah, one of those things. And it's faster to not do the, the, ultra kill. the ultra kill. You just punch him once and he falls over dead. Ah, But blood still, like, gushes out of him all over the floor. Just yes. do this encounter over and over. You'll get the hang of it. Got to memorize the first nine and then remembering which one Riley. to mess up intentionally. And then Riley. just practice pressing every button at the same time. All right, next is the water guns thing. So I got to move my controller input thing on the bottom right. Cutscene skip. Okay. So right here. Let me come, come on. Show me what you got. I'm gonna move this up here. So right here. We cannot move. Ellie, come on. Yeah, I'm coming. We cannot move until we hit 100% in the water. As you can see, we cannot move. Time to boogie. I've never heard that dialogue. That's still stupid. Um, but yeah, the first things first is to uh, get 100% of water in there. You getting scared and then yet? watch this. If we just fire at her, oh, look at like her meter. So her water meter, it doesn't fill up gradually. It fills up in chunks. So what you want to do is hit her and then not fire. See how that works? You can lose a lot of time here if you don't do this properly. So you can move after 100% and then you hit her, you wait a little bit, then you fire again, and yeah, we'll do it one more time. So don't waste all your water, just hit her once, wait a little bit, and then fire again, and it should look like that. Alright, the next um, part's, um, cool. it is faster what? 
to lose this fight. Also, you don't want to lose Riley. You want to, like, finish that fight right here next to the stairs there. Just to her left. Riley is consistently in the same spot. Not 100% of the time. When I was grinding for a new time, she was sometimes in some different spots. But there's a way around that. So it turns out, if you're holding sprint and holding straight backwards, you can actually move her a little bit earlier, but that leads to some inconsistencies in her location. So what I've been doing is I've been holding sprint and left, and then as soon as she moves, then I hold backwards. And that, again, that's just for consistency's sake. Four, this isn't too complicated. Five. So hold left. As soon as you move her, then just go over here. Riley's right in front of you. Sometimes she'll hit you right away. Sometimes she'll miss, but you want to get hit by her right there. She'll be right there. She'll aim, she'll aim at you and shoot at you the same time every time. Um, okay, as for this one, again, don't hold sprint and backwards because she'll move right away again and sometimes not be in the same spot. So what we want to do is hold right and then backwards, just like that. And then she should be right here. Now that one, she constantly aims like above you. So what you want to do that time is run into her. Wow. Okay. You know what? Just don't stand. Don't like notice she's shooting at you and then stop moving. Run into her. Want to go again? Okay. I. I do. I just. You gotta go back. And then that's that. You don't have to like after you're finished like shooting each other the first time. Okay. You don't have to reload any of the water or anything. Can I lose walking home? I guess. Come on, let me get my backpack. Alright, then make sure you just time the cutscene skips properly. Alright, last stretch. You got running past two areas. The store, and then the final fight. I'm going to show off these areas quite a few times before the final fight, so I'm going to make another save file. Use this time to reload, check if you're missing anything. Again, pistol ammo is all you need right now. Okay. Um, let's see here. I'm going to save it under file 9 and then file 10. Just to keep things orderly so I don't mess up. You can't turn off autosave in this game. <laughs> it's such a frustrating feature. Alright, I'm going to show off one thing you can do, which is the easiest, but you, uh, it won't work most of the time, I feel. So you need this bow, and you need those arrows. You need eight arrows entering the final fight. There should be four right there. So the fastest thing is to pick up the bow with the arrows and then go. But what can happen most of the time is you get staggered right there. That's really the only way you can lose time there. So I sort of have found a way to decrease the likeliness of that happening. A restart encounter there wouldn't give you an accurate portrayal of uh, doing it in a run. This is going to look like it doesn't work more often than the other way, but it actually does. First thing you want to do is have the flashlight on. Ironically enough, this is the one thing that didn't work in my record. Luckily, it only wasted like a second and a half. You don't want to get staggered. You want to get the three. You have an arrow. So that was my mistake. You have an arrow. And then you get three that's dropped by this guy right here. Now, when you leap over the crate right here, you want the flashlight on. And then as soon as you're able to move, you sprint forward and shine it on them. old man and a little girl. Okay, that wasn't supposed to happen. Yeah. 
neither was that. I'll show it to you, like, as long as it takes to, for it to work. Maybe I had it too far to the left. What you want to do is, like, as soon as you're able to move, you shine it on one of them, and you will get shot, but as long as they're shooting you in, in your side or your back, you won't get staggered. That's the whole point of it. This worked a lot more when I, like, played around with it originally. Hasn't been working that much lately. If you want to just get the arrows and go, you can. Remember, flashlight on. But I've played around with this, and it has worked. Again, this won't keep you from getting shot, but it will keep you from getting staggered. Which is what we want. It's easy mode, so we have enough health. And because it's easy mode, you're given a lot of health after you get off the helicopter. Alright, so point it this way. And then... That's it. That will work. Go. See that? All right, so let's continue. Um, I'll go back to that save file eventually. Okay. As soon as you get out of this vent, sprint and just sprint past everybody. Simple as that. As simple as that. Okay. Now for this room. If you just sprint through... Okay, that happened to work, but I cannot even begin to describe to you how annoying and frustrating it is to get through all of this game and then have a run die because they hear you. If you know the any percent route, like, the strat is you just sprint past these guys. But what can happen is... You're sprinting, you fall off the ledge, you land, and then you're instantly alerted when you land. I got I got lucky that time, but you don't always get lucky. It's like, oh, it's not going to happen to me, and then it ruins, it ruins a record pace run. What you want to do is, when her feet leave the ground here, and she goes airborne, hit circle in midair, and she'll land in a crouching animation. That will make it so you never get alerted by these guys. And then after her feet hit the floor, you can still hold sprint and forward. Because it's easy mode, it's unlikely that they'll hear her. Okay, and I'll give this a test run. This is the any percent route, basically. If you time your sprint going forward, and you're lucky enough, you can just... Uh, not, not all the time. See, he hopped down. Oh, now you see me. Yeah, it's stupid. Um, all right, let's go back here. And I'll show you from start to finish how perfect it should uh, hopefully look. Remember, flashlight on. You can do the old way, which doesn't involve the flashlight. But I'm pretty comfortable with this way. I, I believe in it. And 11 bullets is more than enough for the final fight. What the hell are we doing here? Shine it right about there. Talk about that old man and a little girl. Sooner we find And that should work. And it does. See, they don't even know where I am. That is a perfect look right there. Go check this door. That was perfect right there. Which way? Alright, and then. Make sure you don't bump into that clicker. You don't need any bottles, any ammo, even though it's tempting. Or crafting ingredients. Alright, now watch my inputs right here. Also make sure you're far enough to the left. Circle. And then after she lands, you can sprint again. Then when you get right around here, stop sprinting for a little bit. 
That bottle's optional. And then this is like the any percent route. I like to time my sprint. Hey, what you guys fight outside? Like so. Yeah, and fuck off. And yeah, yeah. that I don't have anything. I don't. I, I have. There's nothing I can tell you to make this more likely that you get out. Okay. What was that? Hey, what you guys find outside? <laughs> That's just what you have to do. I'm going to do everything one more time. And then we're going to spend the rest of the time on the final fight. Which, uh, I'll have a lot to explain. I'm not even going to make another save file. That's, uh, we'll keep this going. But yeah, I unfortunately don't have anything to tell you for leaving there. I don't recommend doing anything differently. Sprint past them. Climb up. Hit triangle. Oh, I didn't have... Don't worry, I can turn the flashlight on. Okay, so I messed up there. I was supposed to shine the flashlight on him. But I'll do it as soon as I gain control over him. So right about here. What are doing here? Who gives a fuck about that old man and a little girl? Again, I know it's strange, and that doesn't look like a strat that should work as consistently as it does. But in my opinion, it doesn't really hurt to try. Because just sprinting past them without the flashlight on, I get staggered there like 90% of the time. So even if you get staggered there once, it's pretty much the same as before. It's just a little scary is all. <clears throat> Alright. Now again, th this area is just so important. Watch my inputs. Circle. As soon as she lands, sprint. It's just a 100% guaranteed way to never lose a run here. What was that? As for this spot right here, again, it's up to the RNG gods whether you pass or not. Hey, what you guys find outside? See, look at this guy climbing back up. It's just stupid. Okay. Okay. Final fight. This is what I'm making the save file for. Alrighty. Now, what should I mention first? Let me mention, like, the very first part of the fight, which is grabbing... You don't need the ammo. If you're low on ammo, I definitely recommend getting the ammo here. However, you can pick up all four arrows here for a total of eight, like I said. The fight like officially begins like there's nobody here the, all the enemies spawn in when you cross like that invisible line right there you can either pick up all the arrows here or save a little time by picking up all of the arrows right there it saves a little bit of time okay however if you restart encounter over and over and over again you'll have to uh, pick the arrows up again, and that, that's not an accurate portrayal because you're picking because I picked them up after I hit the checkpoint. So, for the sake of practice, I recommend picking these up and then going. However, if you're doing a run and want to save as, mo like, as much time as possible, I'd recommend picking them up like that so you trigger the enemies in as early as you can. Now, here's another thing. Again, I haven't done the fight yet, but I'm just practicing. You want to make a save file before you do this fight. However, watch this. If you load in a file for right here in the middle of the fight. Like I got alerted. I'm in the process of killing them. Make another file just to, so it doesn't get overwritten. Watch this. The enemies are... All right, I don't think it, it worked, but... Okay, it didn't work. Maybe I had to kill one. Come I want. I want to show this off. Fuck it. 
Okay, so I'm going to make, uh, you know, I'm in the middle of the encounter. I'm going to load up the previous file and then make a save file to overwrite it. Now, if I do this encounter, the enemies should be out of position. Yeah, there we go. I got the door. Why did he say that? Look at where the enemies are. They're not where they should be. Like, some of the enemies just aren't where they're supposed to be. That's because I loaded in a file in the middle of an encounter after they were done after they were done speaking. So a way to practice this area normally, so the enemies act, act normally, is to restart and counter places you right here, and then you load in the area. Because I guarantee you, if you've practiced this area over and over, either casually or for a speed run, you've noticed sometimes, I've had a viewer tell me um, that Anthony, why are they sometimes out of position when I load in a file just before? It's because you're loading in the file in the middle of a fight. You want to restart and counter, then load in the file. Now if I begin... There's no random dialogue. Everybody is where they are supposed to be. Yeah, yeah, we'll get the door. You guys keep searching. Also, the enemies see your flashlight. So yeah, so remember, restart and counter, and then load the file. It's so you, um, like there's a tiny little difference restarting encounter versus loading in the file just before I'm practicing it there. On a restart encounter, the enemies are maybe a step or two ahead pace wise where they are if you approach it like from this door here. All right, but let's get to the fight. For the sake of being able to restart encounter over and over, I'm gonna pick up the arrows here, but remember, you want to pick them up at the last second. And holding down triangle will make it so you have all of them. Also, I'm going to move this so you can see how much I have. I've been covering that like the entire run. Uh, let me move it down a little bit. There we go. Yeah. Um, we have a lot of ammo. Health doesn't really matter. But we have eight arrows. That's what's important. Okay. So... This fight, this first part of the fight is actually pretty straightforward. The key is killing them in a certain order at a certain speed. So watch this. Yeah, yeah, we'll get the door. You guys keep searching. I don't want to get ambushed. If I restart encounter, I'll do it one more time just to show you a restart encounter. Will give you like similar AI. You might notice they're just a little bit Their location like they're in place just a little bit earlier. That's the only difference. So I recommend once you're comfortable with the fight approaching this from the door. And that's the one thing. If you're a little too slow, this enemy can be over here instead of right here. That's the one negative of this strat. However, like I said, that isn't really a problem when you're approaching it from the door. So if this happens, just ignore it, but it is a side effect of being just a little bit too slow with the area. Still, restarting encounter is a lot better. You guys keep searching. I don't want to get ambushed than doing all that file loading. I'll explain everything. When I've shown this off a few times. And this enemy should be right here. Yeah, there he is. That's what I love about this area. Eight arrows for eight enemies. And I don't need those arrows. They're just kind of in my way of the triangle prompt, so I pick them up. Okay, so first things first. Get this enemy and this enemy, then this enemy. Now, if you kill this enemy before you kill this enemy, 
they're alerted to you right away. And you don't want that. If you kill the guy by the door, for whatever reason, that makes it so they don't know you're there. Now this guy will do one of two things. He will either walk to the right or he will walk to the left. Um, I cannot recommend enough just practicing this area over and over and over and over and over again. Um, if he walks to the right, you kind of aim at him, maybe a little bit to his right. Well, just react to what he does, you know? And then you get him, then you get him, and then this guy should be right here. But he's not. Okay. Um, again, this is an unlikely occurrence if you're approaching it from just leaving that store. And I've noticed this happens well, more frequently when you're restarting encounter over and over. But it's more likely to happen if you take this guy out at the door a little bit late. So if we're going just super fast. Yeah, yeah, we'll get the door. You guys keep searching. I don't want to get ambushed. Like you want him to die just as the subtitles are disappearing from the screen. And I have a feeling he'll be here. Yep, there he is. Oh, I missed. Okay, but this enemy will be, uh... He'll be right here, walking this way. He'll either be walking this way, or this way. It's random, but what you want to do is aim a little bit to his left. And what I like to do when I get here, I like to aim it, and then look where he is. Like, you don't want to get here and then aim it, because you still got to pull the string all the way back. So again, I get here... I shoulder swap because this is kind of a weird angle. If you do this, this is much easier. Now you can either be perfectly still or moving. I don't mind moving while I'm aiming. But yeah, always aim a little bit to the left here because then he'll run into the arrow because there's bullet drop. And then it should get him. And then you go for the door. And you don't need any arrows. What you need is pistol ammo and this guy's rifle and this guy's rifle that you eventually kill. But let me do that. You know what? Let me do it. From, no, wait, wait, wait. Remember what I said. Remember what I said. First, restart encounter. And then load it up. Otherwise, I'd get some weird enemy placement and dialogue. There you go. Again, once you're feeling comfortable with the fight, um, approach it from here so you have a more accurate portrayal of what you'll experience in, in, in a run. I'll do the fast pickup as well. There we go. All right, you'll notice some of the enemies are a little bit closer. Help me get the door. Yeah, yeah, we'll get the door. You guys keep searching. I don't want to get ambushed. So he dies just as the subtitles are going away. And then I'll talk about these enemies in a second. Oh shit! That shouldn't matter. Shoulder swap. All right, that is a bit concerning. He really shouldn't be doing that. That might have been because of these guys. I mean, real quick, let me bring up my record. I was comfortable enough to do this in a... In a run. I had like a perfect final fight in my record, so let me show you how it went. Yeah, yeah, we'll get the door. You guys keep searching. I don't want to get ambushed. And he's right there. All right, let's do this. Yeah, do that. Um, alright, I'd have to pick up the arrow, so let me load in the file. I don't know why that last enemy isn't being cooperative. He should be. Like, I have, I have the utmost confidence that he'll be there. There's, a, there's another thing you can do if you want to play it safe. And it actually involves why I'm, like, 
taking a weird route around that one guy. Here, I'll pick up the arrows here so I don't have to load files. Okay. Get him. Him. Yeah, yeah, we'll get the door. Him. You guys keep searching. I don't want to get ambushed. Get him just as the subtitles are going away. Get him. Now watch what happens if I just get right here. Oh man. Sorry. But you may have noticed that guy to the right kind of thought he saw me for a second. And if I hang there for too long, I'll get alert. Yeah, yeah, we'll get the door. You guys keep searching. I don't want to get ambushed. That's good. Get him. Now if I'm here for too long. See that? I was spotted. So what I like to do after I've killed this guy, I run around here and I take like a little wide turn here. Then I get him and then I get in position to get him there. Um, what else? Yeah, um, don't be standing when you're going for this shot because there's a good chance I'll spot you there again. So I recommend getting this shot crouched. And then get that one. So from start yeah, to finish again, it looks like you this. Keep searching. I don't want to get ambushed. And him again. I like to waste a little bit of time here, making sure I have an angle on them. And because I was crouched, and because I was like in and out in a second, that guy didn't think he saw me. There he is. Aim a little bit to the left, and then get him, just like that. That's that. Perfect. That was perfect. Okay. Now another thing that can happen. If you are almost spotted by that other guy, the last enemy will do something weird. Now this can actually be more favorable for you. If you think. Alright, so watch this. Alright, he didn't spot me. Well, maybe I can make this work normally. There he is. Yeah, just... Practice your shooting. You'll get the hang of it. I've already showed you some perfect performances, but I want to, uh... In case you accidentally almost get noticed by that second to last enemy... Come on, come on. I'm just showing you something that can happen. And I really don't recommend doing anything besides this strat, because... I have not found anything more consistent and faster. Okay, watch this. See, I was almost alerted by him. Now watch what happens to this guy. He's gonna be, like, running here. And if he hadn't walked so far that way, he would be, like, right at the door. And he's kind of in, like, a glitched state. So, yeah, that's that's kind of weird. But I recommend yeah, yeah, we'll never, the... like, tempting fate search. with that happening. So, like, right here, be crouched, waste a little time, kill him, pop in and out. I'll never know you were there. And then this guy should be... Right here. Just like so. Alright, let's focus on part two of the fight. Practice that, practice that, and practice that some more, and you'll get it. Again, you just gotta trust that this enemy will be here. I do. And again, I think the earlier you kill these two enemies down here, the more likely it is he'll show up on the bottom floor instead of being in this building. And you just gotta trust me on this. There's nothing faster, safer, and more consistent. I have tried. I have tried many different strats. That's the one. Okay. Um, this fight. Let's see. We're going to start it right here. You do a leap over here. You get a headshot on a rifle guy, which is difficult. There's a guy at the top of the stairs. It's basically any percent. It's the any percent route to start the fight. There's a guy here. There's going to be two enemies somewhere in this vicinity. Either one here, then one here, or two in here. And then another guy either here or down here. And then as long as you kill them all with pistol ammo... Oh, fuck, infected. Kill one enemy with a pistol, and then the rest of the enemies, both human and 
infected you can kill with the rifle and then you come over here to pick up the rifle ammo that this guy dropped now each enemy with a rifle drops the rifle which counts as one and the rifle itself but they also drop two beside it so you'll have six rifle bullets so yeah um, after you kill the first five you spawn in the infected and what you want to do is spawn in the infected very very quickly um, let me do a little mock performance of it It'd be pointless to restart encounter because it takes you back to the final fight part one this fight can turn very ugly very quickly it starts with a sprint leap over that crate headshot headshot Headshot. Can I get it through the wall? Nope. Okay, so I'm gonna... He's right here. Whatever, see, it's coming. It's coming undone. Okay, this game's stupid. Alright, I killed six enemies with a pistol, so now I can kill every other enemy with the rifle. Now, I, there's one human enemy left, but I'm gonna focus on the infected. Alright, I can't. So I'll take him out. And that's it. That wasn't too bad. Um, some things to mention about that fight. Um, yeah. Once you kill five enemies, oh fuck, infected. You come out, you kill one more with the pistol, then you can kill all the rest of the enemies with the rifle. Because it's four infected and two humans, and you have six rifle bullets. It's more convenient to, like, once you swap to the rifle, use all of it up. Okay, that's why I recommend only using the pistol for your first six kills after you, um, once you start the second part of the fight. And then, yeah, once, oh, fuck, infected. Three humans, four infected. Just keep that in mind. Let's go from the beginning. Him. Him. Yeah, yeah, we'll get the door. You guys keep searching. I don't want to get ambushed. Kill him quickly. He'll either walk to the right or the left. Hang around here a little bit to give time for an easy kill because oh, no. there's some weird invisible walls. Get him. Shoulder swap. Again, if this happens, I don't know what to tell you. I'll be totally honest. This is happening a lot more just during this tutorial. For some reason. <laughs> Fuck you. Like, when I was practicing this strat, that never really happened to me. You just gotta trust me on that, okay? I wanna focus more on Final Fight Part 2. So, if you miss this headshot, you're pretty much fucked. Okay. Yeah. Like I said, this fight can just fall apart. Here, I want to approach this from uh, from here, just because. I want to show you. If you do the fight from here, it's very likely that that last enemy won't be in the building. He'll be coming out towards the door. Yeah, yeah, we'll get the door. You guys keep searching. I don't want to get ambushed. Good kill. He's walking to the left that time. Got him. Spend a little time here. Okay. And then shoulder swap. There he is. All right, he's walking forward that time. So, get him there. Perfect. See that? Trust he'll be there. If he doesn't, the game doesn't like you. Okay. Focus on this headshot. Make sure you get that headshot. And then this guy should be right here. Alright. Now, one pistol kill. There we go. Now the rest we can take out with the rifle. There we go. Right. I can see the human in there. 
Okay, I'll be totally honest. That was an absolutely perfect Final Fight Part 2. Also, also, um, if the last enemy you kill is a human, the next line of dialogue Ellie has, which is, that's it. Um, well, it looks like this. Human? That's it. And when that happens, you restart encounter. Places you right here and you go for the door. If the last enemy you kill is a human, that dialogue shows up earlier. That signifies the end, end of the encounter. If the last enemy you kill is an infected, it takes a little bit longer for that line of dialogue to show up. So when you're killing these infected, you, um, you want to make sure that all the infected are dead, and then the last human enemy should be either right here or behind one of these tables. And he'll pop up or running through this doorway. However, if while you're killing the infected, you look over and you see him running towards you, you have no choice. You have to kill him. Okay. What else? Yes. When you are over... See, oh, fuck. Infected. You kill one. You kill the rest with the rifle. When you're killing the infected here, there's one there, there's one there, there's one there. If you stay here... There is an infected right down there who doesn't give a shit about the world. <laughs> he will stay there if you are right here. And you otherwise can't get a vantage point on him. So what you have to do, after you get this kill right here, boom, reload, reload, go right here, kill, reload, reload, get the one here, and then this guy, once you're over here, this guy will start to move. You want to make sure this is the last guy you kill. And then the last human enemy should be somewhere over here. Um, all right, hold on. If we're going to do that all over again. I need to load up this file. So the, the part two of the fight starts out like uh, the route for an any percent run. Kill five as fast as you can, primarily all with pistol. Then it's, oh, fuck, infected. Kill one more human with a pistol bullet, and then the rest you can kill with the rifle. Um, before I do that, let me show off how Final Fight Part 2 went in my record. This was a thing of beauty. Watch this. She's down there by the door. Gotta put her down. Go finish her. One more with the pistol. The rest I can kill with the rifle. I like to kill two humans before I go ham on the infected. And then there, I'm slowly moving towards that part of the ground. So that guy will start moving. And then the last human is right over there. And, yeah, I'll spare you the noise I made after that. <laughs> Yeah. Um, yeah. Let's uh, let's put it all together. Ooh, it didn't work. Interesting. Okay. Um, there we go. See that? If you get dialogue at the start of the fight, like there, it means something's weird. So remember, restart encounter, and then save it again. That's how you fix it. But for the sake of practice, I will pick up the arrows and then continue onward. There we go. All right, we're good. So, from the top, ladies and gentlemen. One. Help me get the door. Two. Yeah, yeah, we'll get the door. Three. You guys keep searching. I don't want to get ambushed. You want to kill them pretty quickly. He's going to the left. Hang around here a little bit. Give them time to get out in the open, but you won't get spotted. And this guy should be right here. Shoulder swap. Aim early. Aim to his left a little bit, and then boom. Pick those things up, really, just because they're in your way of the triangle prompt. 
And yeah, you want to like fire the arrow at him early because the triangle prompt for the door the first time doesn't show up until Ellie says, until after Ellie's done saying, ah, and that's that. If you kill that last enemy like halfway down the stairs, you're going to be waiting at the door for a while. So you want to kill that last enemy like as high on the stairs as you comfortably can. That's why I'm firing at it at a weird angle. Um, yeah, there, that was good. Door. Got a pin down. Go finish her. Hello there. I'll take that. Uh, this guy's over here. All right. Should have been a headshot. All right, kill one more with them. Uh... All right, now I can, the rest I can kill with the rifle. I see an enemy there. I see him coming towards me. Let's see what I can do here. Come on, come on. Okay, I'll get him. I'll get him. Alright, this is the last enemy. And if you notice right there, it takes a little bit longer for... That's it. To show up for... Uh, What is it? It's like I mentioned earlier. If the last enemy you kill is an infected, it takes a little bit longer for the dialogue to show up. But, in the heat of the moment, I had no control over that. You know? He just kind of showed up. But he probably would have been further back if I had killed that fifth enemy earlier. It's because I couldn't reload on the stairs. What I recommend is, like, you get the headshot, you get the headshot, reload, unless the rifle guy is here. In that case, you don't have time to reload. You headshot him, you get the rifle through the stairs, you don't really have time to reload. You can reload here, and then, yeah, I should have reloaded before I, like, fired at him. That's what I should have done. All right. We'll do that one more time. Okay, I have a feeling just because, like before, uh, when I begin the encounter, I'm going to get, like, misplaced enemies, just for some reason. So. You should never, ever get that dialogue at the start of a fight. So, again, remember. The way to avoid it is to restart encounter the very beginning of the fight and then load in the file. It's all inconvenient, I know. <laughs> Blame Naughty Dog for not being able to disable autosave in any way, shape, or form. All right, we're almost done. I'll show this off like one more time from start to finish. Here we go. And... Hey, I the door Help me get this open. Yeah, yeah, we'll get the door. You guys keep searching. I don't want to get ambushed. He never saw me. Now oh, he's not there. I don't know what this guy's doing. It's kind of strange. His behavior is strange. I know it is. That's that. Alright, Joel. Oh. Down there by the door. Just trust that he won't be there. The moment counts. Headshot. Next shot, reload. This is an easy enemy alignment. Boom, boom. We gotta get the rifle from pretty far away, but we gotta kill this guy first. One, two, three. Reload. Alright, we have one more enemy to kill with the pistol. Alright, the rest we can do there. Boom. Alright, all the enemies. What is happening? Everybody's glitched out. Nobody knows I'm here. Is everybody okay? There's still a runner here. Okay, just forget that you saw that. <laughs> that was weird. Okay. Glitchy game will be glitchy. Yeah, yeah, we'll get the door. You guys keep searching. I don't want to get ambushed. There you 
far. All right, maybe going as fast as you can on these first on these guys down here isn't the way to go. Kill them efficiently, okay? <laughs> Down there, by the door. We got a pin down. We'll finish her. Get her. Oh. Okay. Yeah. If you miss that first headshot, you're fucked. Okay. It's one of those things. Also, this is pretty basic stuff. But if you aim at a guy that you're shooting at, we'll get the door. You guys keep searching. I don't want to get ambushed. I'll actually show you. Alright, so watch this. If you aim at a guy for too long, their super amazing AI tactic is to just do this little stupid hop out of the way. So, yeah, when it comes to that first enemy, you want to do a drag shot. Okay. I'm tired of explaining. Let's just do it. You guys keep searching. I don't want to get ambushed. Yeah, wait for him to get his dialogue out and then shoot him. Give this guy a little time. The invisible walls in that spot can be a little strange sometimes, so give him some time to show his face. Beautiful. That was nice. Yeah, so wait for this guy to let all of his dialogue play out. Alright, priority here, the first headshot. There we go. And, and the second one, of course. And it's all coming undone. This guy's out of place. All the other enemies will be out of place. Where is even this guy? Yeah, it's very easy for it to just all come undone with a with a bad shot. There's no way to practice just Final Fight Part 2. You have to go through Final Fight Part 1 to, uh, to do it. Which isn't a bad thing. You will become a pro at this section in no time if you just really want to practice Final Fight Part 2. Ooh. Aim down. See, he's consistently being there now. I think I had to fire the arrow a little bit later at him. That's okay. He's down there by the door. Got a pin down. Go finish her. Here we go. Headshot. Headshot. Reload. There's two enemies in here. There's one there. Where are you going? Come on. Can this work with me here? Yeah. Practice, 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 people. Good thing you've already seen what it's supposed to look like. So I don't look like too much of a fool. If I'm struggling with it, all that means is it's very, very difficult. Yeah, look at it. Look at the raid he's there now. That's what I mean. Just believe in the strat. Okay. Good performance this time. One. Two. He should be... Oh, he's right here. Okay. I thought he was outside. One more kill with a pistol. All right, now I'll take out the infected. All right, I see the I see the guy there. Did I miss? I think I missed. Yeah, I did. Okay, well, don't miss. Seems like I missed one of the rifle shots. But yeah, once you make it outside and you're just going ham with the rifle, just react to what you see. I'll move on to the last area after a perfect performance. There we go. And 
this guy. Ugh. God, asshole. This is what you get. Come here. Oh. Yeah. No. No, no, no. I want to show you. I want to show you. You will be there. Yeah, yeah, we'll get the door. You guys keep searching. I don't want to get ambushed. That was close. Not close to getting spotted, but close that I almost missed. There you are. See, I didn't really do anything different that time when he showed up, so... It's weird. Good part two, please. Get the door! Gotta pin down! Go finish her! No. Like I can tell you right now, it's already ruined. Yeah, if you take too long, the enemies are just. I don't even have the rifle. Yeah, the enemies can just be. In a weird spot. Alright, here we go. One good one from start to finish. Yeah, yeah, we'll get the door. You guys keep searching. I don't want to get ambushed. Shot. This guy should be climbing up. Got him. Rifle. Alright, one more kill with a pistol. He's right here. Got him. Alright, now the infected. Remember, get over here. Boom. Got him. Alright, last guy should be right here. Because the last kill was a human, the dialogue showed up earlier. Perfect. That's what it should look like. That'd be a if you miss a rifle shot, uh, use a pistol. Or an arrow if it's a runner. Whatever you're comfortable with. Alrighty, for the sake of copyright, I have to uh, not mute this, but talk over it very loudly. Uh, the strat here is sprint forward and leap over the crate to the right. You want to get ahead of Riley. If you don't, the strat really the here is, here. It, this doesn't have to All do right, with, lift. like, um, what am I saying here? I got to think here. Um, all you can do is get to her right, leap over the crate, and then what you want to do, you don't want to hit triangle late. You want to hold down triangle ap approaching it because you can't lift it on your own. Uh, only you and Riley can lift it together. So, the earlier you hit triangle, the earlier Riley will come over to help you. So yeah, you want to be holding triangle, approaching the gate. Whether or not you get ahead of her or not, could lose you a little bit of time if she really blocks you, but... Yeah, it won't lose too much as long as you're holding triangle, uh, approaching it. Alright, and then right here, nothing too crazy. Grab this and then just move it forward. It doesn't have to be like perfectly straight into the door. The game will do that for you. You just need to bring it past like an invisible line in the ground right here. All right, to avoid bonking into her, what I like to do is just kind of move back and forth a little bit in a jogging animation. Then after she shoots the lock, go forward and then start sprinting after I'm through the door. It's to avoid like bonking into her because that can lose you some time. As for what to do next, um, Remember I've mentioned a lot, if you climb th certain things at an angle, she'll be able to run as soon as she gets to the top. Same thing here. Um, what is it? Uh, yeah. Don't climb like perfectly perpendicular to the truck that we're going to climb. 
do it at an angle and pretty far to the right so you can move her as soon as you get to the top. Okay, so. So I sprint when I notice Riley's through and then climb at an angle and to the right so you can control her right at the top. And their dialogue almost overlaps there. And then time a crouch so she almost like part of her head fuses through the vent there. Or whatever we're crouching underneath. Here in here you just want a mash triangle approaching. So you hit it as early as you can. Holding triangle won't work there. Alright, then you want to just follow close behind her. That's our way out. Don't be like touching her, otherwise she'll you'll like bonk on her, but you can be like right behind her. Infected. That was good. Alright, now for this. What I like to do is face it and climb over like the middle of it. Because sometimes what can happen is it's easy to miss time this so that you'll do like a slower leap like that. The timing is very different. Go, go, go! Or the the speed is different. Like it's that versus that. And I've I've lost record runs to not leaping over here quickly. So what I recommend, instead of like holding right and then X, what I like to do is be facing go, go, go. it and hop over Again, like the her. middle. Not as early as you can, but the middle. Like that. Makes it more likely you won't lose a bunch of time by messing it up. Ellie! I'm good, I'm good, just keep going. Alright, here, run towards the very right of that ledge and just be mashing X. She'll leap over. Run towards the corner here. And then far to the right. And then if you climb this at an angle again, you can like get ahead of her there. And that's pretty much it. Here you don't have to mash square. And then here you run up to her and just mash triangle. And you don't want to hold triangle, you want to mash it. And then timing is right there. Timer stops on the black screen. That's lovely. And that is a left behind tutorial. If you haven't noticed in this category, a lot has to go right. You know, from the brick fight to... Um, the stalker room getting the advanced strat would be crazy. Um, and then the room after with the Molotov, sometimes that doesn't work. Then you could have a run ruined by getting a bunch of blocks. And then sometimes you can get staggered or never make it out of the store. And then to top it off, there's final fight. So there's a lot that has to go right. But it, luckily, it's a relatively short run. The record is 28 minutes and 22 seconds. By me. But... <laughs> Yeah, it was a crazy run. Really, the only uh, time loss I had was I got staggered uh, when I first got the bow. That was like the only thing a time loss. Um, what else to mention? Yeah. No matter what console you run it on, you want it to be on the latest patch as, and do those two restart encounters at the end of like when you first turn the electricity back on on the mall. Um... But yeah, that's it. Any questions you have, I'll be happy to answer them. Or join the speedrunning Discord. They'll be happy to answer any questions you have. And uh, yeah, it's a pretty rewarding run. Especially if you're not resetting over and over and over. Uh, but yeah, that's it. Hope you guys learned something. And by God, I hope you use this. <laughs> See you guys. Bye.